Uh, traveling on the railways in India is one of the great, invent great adventures that you can have over here. It's quite a surprising sort of place. You've got different classes, different tiers. Now, I'm not going to go into the general class with my family. It's just not. It's just not very clean. It's not safe. We'll probably lose half our bags, or maybe we won't, won't lose half our bags. We just won't have anywhere to sit and sleep. So. I'm only going to be talking about sleeper class and today I'm going to have a look at AC3 and another video coming up you get to see what happens when you end up on waitlist and waitlist is not really where you want to be and you can have a look at the consequences of that of not sorting that out for your travels in a short while but in the meantime let's come and have a look at a Sleeper cabin? No, I won't go into sleeper cabin. There's people in there. I'll wander into my AC3 tier cabin and grab it. So, start off with you go along, you find, key thing is, with your tickets, you find your carriage in this case. B2 is where we are. We're in the seats in this number range here. You can see them written on the outside, so you know which door you need to go into. And come in. And AC3 is generally separated out from the sleeper classes and the other classes a little bit safer. Let's go and have a look. So, so many spots, and I squeeze us all into one, one little spot. Yes. Squeeze us all in here. Yep. So, the boys have made themselves at home up in there. <coughs> Put bunk over here. We've got Daddy, our bags and everything can in the I bottom. Play game for you? In a few minutes. Then you've got top bunk, you've got a middle one that folds out, and you've got the bottom one where everyone sits on until it's bedtime and then people disappear off into their other ones and sleep. Hello. So this gives you a bit of an idea. I'll walk on through, show you an empty one here. Just one moment, boys. So here we go. Here's an empty one. Yep. Let's turn on the lights in here. So you can see the table and everything. 25. Yeah. So she's in here, and here. And here. So, oh, since that one's now filled up, let's have a look in here. You've got a table, you've got beds, you've got everything over this side as well. It's all set up for. A pretty comfortable trip. Some lights work better than others. This one's even better. So you can see clearly. Beds. This one's going to fold up. And be in the middle. Daddy, overnight. Daddy, come over here. Yes. In a, no, and, come and on. Daddy, show me the one that's already set up. Yeah, there's one that's set up here. Here we go. Chain set up for the middle one. Yep, all there. So, that gives you an idea of what. AC, AC3, I quite like AC3, I think it's where I'd recommend to travel, good value for money, it's a bit more than the sleeper, but it is much, much cleaner, much better for family, much safer too. The train's about to go again, but today we're going to have a look at the bit of dangers about being on a wait list on the Indian Railways. Now, this is not a good idea. I will repeat, this is not a good idea, because here I am, sitting. Relax. Everything here. We'll negotiate with someone else for the kids to have their, their bank to sleep in. When I'm here, in a corner, right next to a dirty wash basin, and this is where I'll be all night. Because, well, someone has to keep an eye on the bags, and even though we'll wait list one, two, and three, <coughs> no one cancelled. If no one cancels, you don't get a seat. 
you're just stuck. Or you can go and join um, the population in that general section and you can be there the whole time and that's it. You're never going to get anywhere else apart from being in the general area. Or you can pay a fair bit of money in terms of, well, to get not a seat, to be in this section of the train. It's 500 rupees per person. So, 1,000 rupees for two adults because, well, the kids aren't charged. And that'll be to be in this area, which is the um, third class sleeper section. Not even the um, AC sleeper. Yeah, it's winter time, you don't really need AC, do you? There's no way of getting on here, and perhaps people want to get in the door behind me. Let's have a look. Oh, they can get on a different door. But anyway, this is the danger. Don't do wait list. If you need a ticket, get a ticket. And if you can't get a ticket, well, even if you're booking five months in advance, if it's on waitlist, even if it is, waitlist one, two, three, you'd be like me and end up sitting next to a basin, next to the toilets, that don't smell great, or not. Not a pleasant experience, but, hey, it's life. You've got to live it. Sometimes you risk things. Sometimes you roll snake eyes. And I'm sitting here next to the to next to the toilet box. But the good part about it is that you meet some wonderful people who give you enough space to have your kids go and have somewhere to sleep. And oh, generosity, no money, just warm-hearted people. So we're lucky to find some, and that's where the boys are. And Shireen's got the end of a seat to sit on, and I'm over here next to the base. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty noisy here now. Very noisy here now, the training's going. Oh, no. It's been loud enough for you to hear me, but here we go. Now, I decided that my spot was actually pretty comfortable compared to what my wife had, so she's now sleeping over there in my spot. Over there. talking with you about consequences of not taking action about waitlist tickets, what you can do is you can go onto the waitlist and then contact one of many companies that are associated with Indian railroads, well when I mean associated, they say they're associated, and they can get your waitlist cleared for you. There is an additional payment there, sometimes that payment can be more than the value of the ticket, so just be aware of that. Now my clear recommendation here for you is to choose the AC3 tier or AC2 tier or AC1 if you can find it and choose to go that way. 
I think the AC3 tier is about four times the price of the sleeper class, but the extra level of cleanliness, the fact you get pillows and some blankets, and the fact that it's a lot quieter with a lot less people walking through all the time, means that you get some sleep. And that's really what you're paying for here. If you're doing an overnight sleeper train, you need to be able to get some sleep and feel secure and safe with your baggage and if you're traveling with kids, with your kids as well. So please make sure that you go there and you do get the AC3 tier. Much nicer way to travel. Now after this, we're gonna do a quick look at traveling on buses. Now buses, although we tried them once with our kids, they're not really an option because one of my kids gets rather sick gets motion sickness quite easily and on a bus that's just not a good thing so it is an option we'll go through the details with you next the other way to travel in India if you're not on the trains is to get to a bus depot and the bus depots are all over major cities have buses going all over the place you get an idea of like counters up here they tell you where they're going so you can find the bus you need and you've got choice of doing um, the local bus network which is super super cheap but they don't like you getting on with lots of bags so sometimes they won't they refuse your entry even though you want to pay so a bus like this might not let you on board because we as travelers we're carrying big bags so you might end up on one of these which is a AC bus so it's sealed in so it's everything to be cool in summer and it's much warmer in winter inside because the windows are all sealed up so it's a good way to travel you get to put your bags in underneath just like you would in any other country's proper buses so you can see bags in underneath and we're inside you get set seats it's really reasonable cost we're looking at uh, two and a bit hour bus ride um, which would have been multiple trains to get across to where we're going to next and instead we're getting a single bus it's going to stop a couple of places and we're looking at a grand total of three dollars per person and because Zach's so small they only give us three seats and charge us for three people so pretty cheap to get around when you consider um, what's that three dollars each we're looking at it's less than three dollars uh, and we get to go pretty much straight away um, we're already sitting on the bus it's leaving in the next 10 minutes and we'll get to our destination pretty quickly so it's an alternative for the railways um, and I thought we'll give it a shot and we'll see what we think about it we might get it a couple more times as we're going around India too because well it's an Indian adventure so let's do what we can and get around without just buying taxis which a lot of people do because you can you can hire a car you get an uber across to where we're going yes the uber networks here too would be uh, about $30 for a car which would be big enough to take our bags too or we're spending less than $10 just to go on the bus and it's a pretty comfortable looking bus so 